What is up all you beautiful legends? I hope you guys are having a great day and happy Monday. As you've seen by the title of the video, this is my full anime con from Columbus, Ohio. It's a whole walkthrough of cosplay, statues, toys, uh, Funko Pops, all kinds of anime and celebrity voice actor goodness. But before we get into any of that, we're just gonna do a quick intro and show you the kind of stuff I picked up at the con. As you can see, I have the Animate Con Columbus. It's part of the Galaxy Con. Uh, I got a press pass for the three day weekend. Uh, I wasn't able to go for the three days because of work. So big shout out to them. And then uh, me and Lady Durst, she went for a single day as well. But the main reason I went was the voice acting from Cyclops, Gambit, and Magneto. All three voice actors were gonna be there and they were doing a panel. And I didn't know if I wanted to get a comic sign or what, and the voice actor from Cyclops and uh, Gambit, they got there late. But Matthew, the voice actor beside Magneto, he was there. So I got this X-Men 97 Marvel Legends sign. He did it in the purple, it says to Adam. Magneto was right in his name. And he also did a bunch of other stuff for gaming with like Fallout, Call of Duty. So he was super, super dope. Talked to him for like 10, 15 minutes. And stay on the lookout because later this week I will have a full, I think it's like a 15, 20 minute video of the entire X-Men panel and they were hilarious. So there wasn't any comics at the con whatsoever. There was a couple Galaxy Con exclusives, but I didn't really want those or need those. So I went to a comic shop right outside the area and then there's one right in the convention hall. So I didn't have this and I thought this was real fitting. Picked up, uh, I think this is the second print of issue number two. You have Rogue and Gambit on there. So this was a harder one to find. I think it was like a 10 or $15 bucks, but it was tough to find and I didn't have it. So I wanted to grab that. And then this, they had a $5 price point on it. This is Transformers issue number 23, but it was half off. So I got it for 250. So I was happy to add that to the Transformers collection. Like I said, it's a whole 20 minute video at the end of this. So I'm gonna go quick and just show you these hauls. X-Force issue number two. Again, I got this for a dollar, a dollar 50, it was in half. Uh, marked in half and there's a rip down here but second appearance of Deadpool an issue I didn't have I wanted to grab and then we went to another comic shop and this one was absolutely phenomenal I picked up Invincible this is issue number 63 got this for five dollars and I actually reached out to the shop because I only had so much cash on me because I got budget for cons and uh, I'm actually going to purchase they had a ton more Invincible books at five dollars each so I'm grabbing all those and then I grabbed Spawn issue number 56 with that Capullo cover, another back issue I did not have. And then two books I was very excited. This was on their wall. I got these for $8 each. We have Dragon Ball Z issue. What is this? The monthly, this is six. Here's that. And then no, the volume six, part five. Sorry, I, I totally forgot that these are labeled kind of weird sometimes. And then Dragon Ball Z, Z volume six. And then that's part four. So pretty sure that's how that is. I'm trying to collect more of the gaming com comics, trying to collect more anime comics, trying to collect more of my fandom, and was big time excited to grab those. And last but not least, there was a guy selling old movie posters, original posters and everything. And it might be tough to see. You'll see it when I do a room tour later this year, but this is actually the Godzilla from Godzilla 2004, the Japanese poster in all its glory, sorry if it's glary or anything. But I was super, super stoked to grab that. Got it for 15 bucks. So like I said, I just wanted to do a quick little intro video, show you guys the haul, show you guys what I picked up. It was a great con overall. If you're into anime, if you're into voice acting, if you're into fandoms like that, it is definitely a must because like you said, you're gonna see a lot of it at the end. So again, thank you for your time. Sit back, get some snacks, chill, enjoy the music, and uh, hopefully you like the walkthrough of Animate Columbus, and hopefully you guys have the chance to check it out one day if it's in your area. Stay legendary and much love. Great.